to enhance the economic growth, interdependency, and also security and stability within the region. ASEAN Community is the regional integration consists of the ten member of ASEAN instead of the member of ASEAN. In order to materialize all of those ideas, therefore it was agreed at the new anniversary of ASEAN to establish the ASEAN Community 2015. Three pillars have been also agreed in order to support materializing these ideas. Those are ASEAN Economic Community, ASEAN Security and Political Community, and the last one is ASEAN Social Cultural Community. This uh, community they put both them together as one identity, which is the Southeast Asian nation. And I do think that this community they could provide them an easier and a broader cooperation. A citizen. I am an ASEAN citizen. community from youth perspective so the, they give us the you know uh, the hopes the expectation the thoughts uh, the thoughts of a youth uh, to ASEAN and uh, we are expecting from you know maybe Venus can make their own video and we can put it uh, you can send it to our email uh, or you can just uh, call me after this uh, and then we can put it in our website journalists we have invited many people from many walks of life discussing many substantive issues but sometimes I personally think that perhaps, perhaps a shift of focus from talking about all those issues to something that is more grounded to talk about the people who live and experience ASEAN community in the entirety is quite important. Perhaps it is also important to not just talk about the issues but the people behind it. So the ASEAN community, their optimism that they are embracing ASEAN community so without further ado, I would like to invite our first panel. For us, we can guide, influence, and negotiate many levels of sectors through the government, to NGOs, as well as, of course, the media. Furthermore, in the social cultural sector, ASEAN member countries have taken numerous steps in strengthening relationships between youth. For instance, the annual ASEAN Ministerial Meeting on Youth, ASEAN Youth Forum, and cooperation among youths with ASEAN dialogue partners, such as the Genesis, as we know, ASEAN China Youth Camps, and the uh, Ship for Southeast Asian Youth Programs, for instance. To approach, we advise them which banks to approach. And of course, we advise them on how to use the money that would give us profit. And the third is, the most important, sales and trading. Sales and trading means we sell them goods and services that they can buy with our money that we give to them. <laughs> so that's how we make our profit as well. What we sell are stocks, bonds, commodities, and currencies. For commodities, we sell them oil, we sell them uh, crude palm oil after for aviation companies, and we help them to manage the risk in fluctuations of the price. That's how we uh, do business. Suites within the same field of view. So that's, that's my story of inequality. But inequality is not an obstacle. It should not be seen as an obstacle or a challenge or, or something that would uh, hinder your ambitions or visions, but rather next opportunities. Basically, in Inequalities give so much opportunities. Okay, you can say, okay, Indonesia is the largest economy in ASEAN, but only Indonesians speak Bahasa Indonesia. Okay, fine, that could be a challenge, but that means there are thousands of jobs out there for Bahasa Indonesia teacher in Thailand and in Malaysia and Singapore. Um, international organizations and institutions such as Venus International. International organizations and institutions such as Venus International is is a place where people experience regionalism and internationalism. Uh, and that's good because it's, it's not a, like a one instant process. You go into the global world. 
it's it's it needs time to develop and i think more and more uh, our institutions and and educational institution needs to be um, connected towards uh, the work of more internal internationalism globalism and regionalism so i applaud also the uh, the work for venus international on, on that on that um initiative with um with regards to uh, all the factors that is being um, accounted for so um I can't give you a clear answer on that one. Uh, that's a personal statement, uh, but uh, there there are differences between the ministries. And, and, um, number two, regarding information um, disbursement, um, we're having problems with the bureaucracy regarding information. Um, there isn't um, a process where we come out with a very efficient, effective method of conveying information. We have the people who are in communications to work with us, uh, the foundation, the secretariat, and us in, 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 in organs to actually you know, communicate you know, what is necessary to, to, to the others because this is a big, um, big challenge that others face. The other thing is that we need to also connect um, and there is connectivity. Um, you know, you have heard about the travels that you can actually do in ASEAN um, and um, you know, we need to do more of that to understand each other more to appreciate our diversity and our heritage and through that we can collaborate we can actually create new things so this is I think the, what the ASEAN community represents that is actually a 